everyone, Victoria here from Preserve Ocean. Today I'm in beautiful Curry Beach, North Carolina. Today's topic is going to be about oil rigs to reefs. There are more than 12,000 offshore oil and gas platforms worldwide. As they drain their reservoirs of fossil fuels below the sea, they eventually become defunct when they produce too little fuel for extraction to be profitable to their operators. However, below the surface is very different. Beneath the waves, colorful fish, crabs, starfish, and mussels congregate on the huge steel pylons, which stretch for more than 400 feet to the ocean floor. The big question is what to do with these enormous structures when the fossil fuels stop flowing. With curbing climate change rising up the international agenda, and with some questioning whether we have already passed peak oil, passing by the pandemic, the number of defunct rigs in the ocean is set to get bigger. Removing these rigs from the water is incredibly expensive and labor intensive. Allowing them to rust and fall into disrepair is an environmental risk that could seriously damage marine ecosystems. But there is one way in which these old rigs can be remarkably useful. The subsurface rig provides the ideal skeleton for coral reefs. Teeming with fish and other wildlife, offshore rigs are in fact the most bountiful, human-made marine habitats in the world. Here's a fun fact and a little bit of history. Back in 1984, the U.S. Congress signed the National Fishing Enhancement Act which recognized the benefits artificial reefs provided and encouraged states to draw plans to turn defunct rigs into reefs. The five coastal states include Alabama, Florida, Louisiana, Mississippi, and Texas, all off the Gulf of Mexico. And they all have rigs to reef programs and have converted more than 500 oil and gas platforms into artificial reefs. Reefing a platform is an attractive proposition for oil and gas companies as it is significantly less expensive than total removal and it's estimated to save the industry millions of dollars each year. Campaigners say it is a win-win situation as companies spend half of their decommissioning savings on the state's artificial reef program. This money goes towards maintaining the platforms, marine conservation, and education. Due to the abundant marine species living there, the platforms in the Gulf of Mexico have become hotspots for diving, snorkeling, and recreational fishing. The Blue Latitudes organization out in California started in 2014 to raise awareness about the benefits of rigs and persuade oil companies and governments to designate them as permanent reefs. What they're trying to do is help the general public understand conservation isn't always just about saving the whales. There are other ways we can look at complex ideas into our oceans, such as repurposing man-made structures into artificial reefs. Blue Latitudes has reef rigs from Thailand to West Africa, preventing more than a dozen large marine ecosystems from being wiped out. Offshore rigs are among the most productive fish habitats in the world. They provide marine wildlife with food, shelter from predators, and a safe breeding ground. For some species, the rigs are even better nurseries than natural reefs. One of the big beneficiaries is rockfish, stocks of which have been heavily depleted due to overfishing along the west coast. These fish are found in abundance around oil platforms. For instance, the platforms have helped revive the critically endangered Boccaccio rockfish. The number of juvenile Boccaccio found at rigs was enough to boost the adult stock of the Pacific population by 3%. Interestingly enough, there is clear evidence that fish are drawn to the platforms. One reason for this affinity is that the rigs offer a property rarely found in featureless open water, their considerable height. The platform acts as a pinnacle and allows fish to move into deeper water as they mature without having to leave their habitat. Typically, fish living in shallow reefs will leave their habitat when they are fully grown and venture out to the open sea. The fish found on oil rigs 
simply have to move down the platform without ever venturing far from their refuge. Many scientists are calling for Californian platforms to be preserved as artificial reefs, given the bountiful ecosystems that they harbor. Blue Latitudes says the aim of rigs to reefs is to protect valuable marine habitats by offering an alternative to complete platform removal. If the Californians' platforms are toppled, it would result in the loss of 27 huge marine ecosystems. California platforms are some of the largest and deepest in the world. As a matter of fact, you can't even see the beams. They are so encrusted with marine wildlife. Thanks for listening. Give me a thumbs up if you like my video. Share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And thank you for your support. See you next time.